Now, so what we're going to do right now is we are actually going to uh, run this ad as discussed in the sheet. Okay, so now you need to go to your business manager. I believe okay. you already made the Corgi page as an admin for Payton, right? Mm hmm Okay, cool. Now close this page, uh, Humpy, Humpy, day Q. Okay, uh, go to business manager here. This is your business okay. manager. <clears throat> this, this is your personal ad account. Uh, this is not your business manager, okay? Now, when you, this is how you go to your business manager. Let me control your computer, okay? Now, you simply click here, okay? Where is your mouse? Oh, I see it, okay. okay. Simply click here. You can pretty much click here to go to business manager, but I'm showing you uh, the okay. easy way. Let me move see, this. This is your business see. manager. Okay, wait, wait, wait. When you, uh, when I'm controlling your mouse, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. pick somewhere else, okay? Trying, Correct. Okay, I was so trying to move this mm -hmm. so I could see. <laughs> that's could the reason. See. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so so uh, then you click here, marketing with Annie. This is your business manager, okay? Now, now uh, let me click here. Uh, Okay, cool. Uh, perfect. Okay, now I, I would still be controlling your computer. Okay, I'll let you know when you can start controlling okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Stay okay. Active. <laughs> now, marketing with, mm -hmm, marketing with Annie is uh, your business manager. Now, what, what you're going to do is let it load. Like, this is seriously slow. But let it load. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think that page is here, Annie. Uh, you oh. need that page. Oh, the green page. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's correct. So what you need to do yeah, is you I do need have to add, add it. Add your page right now, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to choose an objective, right? Now here are a few things that you let you need to revise here, okay? So you for the video you're choosing the engagement objective, okay? Uh, this is what you said, right? But let's revise this. Now this is brand awareness, right? Brand awareness is something, let's say if you, are, if you want to spread awareness about your page or brand or website, you can choose this, right? If you want to reach more people, you can choose this, okay? So by these two things, by these two objectives, you're going to spread awareness about the product or whatever you're promoting, right? Okay? Of course, you could now. Okay, your voice okay. could on and off. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, so this is what I was saying. Uh, if you choose the brand awareness objective, it would actually spread awareness about your product. So increase awareness for your brand by reaching, okay, did you scroll down? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let me control your computer. Annie, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, uh, so I need you to take off your, uh, uh, hand from the mouse, okay, cool? Okay, all right. Okay, uh, now can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, I hear you now. Okay, cool. So uh, if you choose this, okay, is it going down all by itself? I guess so, cause my hand is not on the, okay, cool. the mouse. So increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it, correct? Uh, so this is for spreading awareness about something. Let's say you want to spread awareness about something new, right? So you can choose mm -hmm. this as an objective, okay? Correct. Now when it's about the reach, okay? So you can see here, show your ad, show your ad to the maximum number of people. Now there's something unique about reach, okay? There's something good about reach. Uh, so let's say if it says uh, you want to reach 10,000 people. So that means reach is unique to every person. So you're reaching 10,000 unique people. Okay. Correct. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is one unique thing about reach. So you can use that and it's pretty cheap, right? Traffic. So let's do a recap about the traffic things. So send people, send more people to a destination on or off Facebook, such as a website, app, or messenger conversation. Okay. Now you can choose this objective you know, maybe maybe later on when you would start using custom audiences for your website or blog right correct 
because okay. uh, we are going to use that or uh, any ways uh, in our uh, advanced ads, right? Mm -hmm. Now for the engagement, get more post engagement, page likes, even responses or offer claims. Okay, more more post engagements and page likes, even responses or offer claims. So let's say you're putting yes, so chances are you you might get comments there, right? Correct. Right. Uh, right. App installs again. Let's say you're promoting. I'll uh, get more people to install your app. Let's say you're promoting a, a CPO offer, app install CPO offer. There are tons of offers, right? Correct. So you can uh -huh. choose this objective, right? Um, right. Pr pretty much. I'm, I'm not going to guide you with every different ad, but yes, I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm telling you here what you can do with the different objectives, so that you can when you get on your own, you can actually test these things slowly, right? Correct. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Video views now. Get more people to view your video content. Now you pretty much use this particular objective, and yeah. that was not a big hit, right? Correct. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and uh, so let's scroll down. Again, lead generation. This is something that we're going to use slowly, right? So let's scroll up. Okay. So. Lead generation drive more sales leads, such as email addresses from people interested in your brand or business. Now you can use this with the pixel part, right? Correct? Right. When you use this, it is going to give you a pixel and you need to install that pixel on your thank you page, right? Correct? So we're going to have a separate landing page and a thank you page when we do this. Make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, messenger messages. This is something super uh, like uh, this is something get more people to send messages to your business and messenger. Right. So this is something that you can use. Let's say if you want to interact with people. Correct. But for this, we have to set up a chatbot. Okay. So when it comes to chatbot, you can use mm. this part. Right. And that chatbot is going to interact. Okay. Automatically. So you don't have to uh, interact with thousands of people. Right. Right. Correct. So that's where the chatbot comes in. You can use the chatbot with this particular objective. Okay. Convergence. Mm -hmm. This is something that we're going to use and we've, we've learned about. Uh, drive valuable actions on your website, app, or in Messenger. Okay. So again, this is this needs a pixel to be installed. Correct. And this is pretty powerful when we start doing the powerful ads. Okay. Now let's choose the engagement okay. here. Uh, okay. Get more people to see and engage with your post or page engagement. Engagement can include comments, shares, likes. And you see comments, right? This is what right. we want, right? Shares. This is what we want, mm -hmm. right? Even likes. responses yeah. and offer claims, right? Correct? Yep. Yeah. So uh, Correct. this is powerful, right? Uh, now let's just scroll down. Post engagement, page likes, or even responses. Now, now let's say if I click here, a campaign can contain multiple ad sets. Edit your campaign name here or choose an existing campaign by using the link above. Okay. <coughs> now, uh -huh. page likes. Again, what do you exactly want? So, a campaign can contain multiple ad sets. Again, it's the same thing. So, you're going to create a campaign name here. Uh, even responses. Let's say uh, you want to go for even responses. Things are changing on on the right okay. uh, left hand side if you see post engagement you see identity and creative ad you see that and when i click right, page, right. page likes it's it gives you more options in the ad set page audience uh, placements budget and schedule right identity format right. media text right correct and when mm -hmm. i click even responses see page placements budget and schedule identity format media event right correct so Correct. if you're going for the posting engagement, we just need the identity and we just need the creative that is the video, right? Correct. If right. You're going for page likes, you need to have more stuff here, like format. You need to have media. You need to have text, right? Correct. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so again, uh, you can give this a campaign name that is friendly to you. Give it a name, maybe the viral video, whatever. Give it a name that you can remember. Test one, always type in test one if it's your first video so you can make out this was the video first ever read, right? Test one, Corgi. How about test it? one, Corgi viral video. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need an explanation for it. Test one. Mm. It's just a barrel. 
Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. okay, now click continue. Okay, uh, now what age would you like to go with? I give you the authority to decide the age. What a dog? Who knows? <laughs> yes, I'll say from 18 to really anybody love dogs to 65. Okay, go for 65. Then. Give it the, give, give the answer in name so that you can know what this audience is about, right? Right. And, uh, yeah. What would you like? Would you like to or, or target? Uh, I think you should be targeting only U.S. and Canada, right? We don't want. What is your option here? Target multiple countries or just U.S. and Canada? Uh, I don't know. Actually, you have to think. You have to go through the thinking process. Tell right. Me. I'm going to mm -hmm. say U.S. and Canada. Okay, just go for U.S. and Canada then. Okay. Because dogs are more likely uh, to be indoors in U.S. and Canada, right? Yes, true. We mm -hmm. can also go for U.K. Correct, but uh, okay. let's see this offer. This offer allows traffic only from U.S. and Canada, right? So okay. we just target okay. Canada that way. So you, we can have a much uh, better audience, right? Okay. So... Uh, add in the location tab, add Canada. Okay, let's see. Include Canada. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Now let's scroll down. Slowly, let's see what we have in the reach section. Now you're targeting like 240 me million people, right? Okay. Correct. Uh, now, see. now age 18 to 65, all men and women languages. Uh, go for English. Just type in mm -hmm. English there. English all. Choose English all. Mm -hmm. English all. Okay, so that uh, your ad is only displayed to the people who are English. Now you see the potential reach decreased to 230 million. It just decreased 10 right. million, right? Right. right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, okay, detail targeting. Now, let's go to the demographics part here. Include people who match at least one of the following. Now, just type in Corgi there. <laughs> Welsh Corgi, yep, select that. Select all of these. Just type in Corgi and select everything that matches to Corgi. Welsh Corgi. Now type Corgi again. Corgi. Mm -hmm. Now let's wait for the suggestions. Now Corgi addict, the daily Corgi, Corgi dogs. Just select okay. everything that relates to Corgi. Corgi addict. Mm -hmm. I have to select them one at a time. Yep, that's correct. They should put a select all in here. <laughs> yeah, that should be here. Yeah. Now you see the reach is going down three and like three lakh, oh, like almost like uh, one something. Thirty-four. Million, yeah, right? it's going right. down and down. Yep. Yeah. Because it's getting more specific. That's correct. Let's see if anything else going to come up. You have to wait after typing. Let's see. <laughs> Pembroke Welsh and the Cardigan Corgi. Okay, two more Corgis are remaining there. Okay, now you see. I guess this thing, you got three million, so 500,000. Yep, so we have like 3.5 million, 3 million here. Right now, mm -hmm. would you be interested in adding more people who are interested in dogs? Tell me. Yeah. Go, go for it then. Add <laughs> something viral here about dogs. Uh, something viral about dogs. 
Fox dog, yeah. type in fox dog. I mean, I thought we were being specific to so, the corgis. Uh, yeah, if you would like to be specific to the corgis, it's, it's up to you. I'm asking you. I'm just discussing this with you, you know. Would you like to go apart for corgis or would you like to test this ad specifically for corgis so that you know your results? Because if you target yeah. everything in one ad, you don't know. It's going to be do, too right? broad. Yeah, yep. it's going to be too broad. So just remove all this and let's simply target 30, uh, 3.5 million people, right? So at least yeah. know the results, right? Correct? Right, right. The estimated daily results reach would be 1,600 to 6,500. Post engagement would be 47 to 280. Right, but this engagement is going to be pretty targeted, right? Right. Correct. Uh, right. Now, okay, cool. Can you type dog? Okay, let's let's keep it to corgis, okay? Correct. Now, there's one more thing I need to show you for your later ads. <clears throat> Let me start controlling your computer here. Okay. okay. So click browse here. Okay. So let's say if I'm promoting something, let's say if I create another ad and I'm, I'm targeting, I'm selling a product about dogs, okay? So what I'll do is I'll, I'll target all the corgi thing and I'll click narrow audience, okay? And if I'm promoting the bark box, maybe bark box offer, I'll type mm -hmm. bark box here. Okay, and there should something come in here, right? And I'll select this, okay? Now you see uh, 10, million people in tweet, mm -hmm. right? Correct. No, mm -hmm. it decreased, okay? But yes, Decrease. by just but choosing bar box, I'm able to get more targeted, right? Correct? Right. Now, now mm -hmm. I'll type, type bar box and I'll maybe type engaged. Engaged shoppers. Now you see Facebook has a database of these. You see this, this is a behavior, right? So Facebook right. has a database of like, like um, engaged shoppers, like 309,000 wow. people purchased yeah. behavior engaged shoppers. People who have clicked on the call to action button shop now in the past week. Now you can pretty much. Really? Well, yeah. With that, one, that sounds, it's for a week? Yeah, that sounds, do you think that sounds super targeted? Now, a lot of people who run Facebook ads do not know this. Mm -hmm. okay? Now, as soon as you click... That's, engage, a, that's a large size for a week. Mm -hmm. So, as soon as you click the engage shoppers, you're just... Let's say, select, let's select this. As soon as you select this part, you're pretty much targeting only the people who are also it's engaged shoppers, right? Buy. Correct? Yeah. So, it reduces. But these are the people who are interested in car keys and they're engaged in shop, engaged shoppers. So when you select okay. Kongargi and when you narrow audience and you select engage shoppers in bark box, so that means people who have Kongargi who have showed interest in bark box and who are also engaged shoppers. So this becomes pretty much targeted, right? Correct? I like it. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to use this option when you're going to create maybe another conversion ad. Okay. So let's say mm -hmm. if you're creating an ad for uh, a shopping ad, you can always use the engaged shoppers. Okay. And this one word, Thousands of people out there don't know this word, okay? Correct? Uh -huh. So when you click the browse button, okay, and if you're able to find this one word like engage shoppers or maybe something, so one word is going to make you money here, Annie, okay? If you choose That's the right it. word in the behavior, okay, that word is going to make you tons of money, okay? okay. When you're running Facebook ads because you are getting exposure for your ad to the right people, right? Correct? So when you use right. engaged shoppers, you're only sending your, you, you're, you're getting exposure of engaged shoppers. You're exposing your ad to only engaged shoppers who have their credit cards, who always have their credit cards in hands, right? So that's, that, okay. that gives you pretty much targeted stuff and that's how you actually make money, right? Correct? The right, okay. getting the right exposure. So you need to learn this art, okay? This is just not a browse button, okay? Maybe, maybe uh, one day you can pretty much take the whole uh, 30 minutes or two hours out and check every damn demographic or interest or behavior, right? Correct? Mm -hmm. And see so that yeah. you know when you're running an ad, you can pretty much select the right thing, correct? Now, we're not going to select okay. anything here. Let's target 3.5 million people, okay? Uh, uh, and uh, let's scroll down, correct? 
I'm going to save this audience as well, right? Good idea, correct? Okay, yeah. Okay. Save this and uh, give it as like a corgi dog targeted audience and just give it like 3.5 million. Corgi dog. Audience, 3.5 million. Right? Uh, let's click save. Okay, cool. Now, when you get charged, you're going to get charged for impressions, okay? Now, let's click here. Click this is small. I'm controlling your computer now, okay? The selected okay. option determines when you pay for your ad. For many optimization goals, you'll pay each time your ad is served, known as an impression. So if someone, uh, if that ad goes in, in front of the screen, okay. Some optimization goals also let you choose between impressions and actions, such as link clicks or 10 second video views. The recommended option shown here balances efficient spending of your budget uh, to achieve your objective with easy understanding of your results, okay? Now, the the optimization for ad delivery is post engagement. Okay, we'll deliver your ads to the right people to help you get the most likes, shares, or comments on your post at the lowest cost. Impression. We'll deliver your ads to people as many times as possible. Now, this is not good, right? Correct, because one person right. is going to see your ad again and again, right? Daily yeah. unique. We'll deliver your ad to people up to once a day. Not good, right? Yeah. Post engagement is better, yeah. right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So, um. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, lowest cost, set a bid cap. Uh, maybe you can, you can set a bid cap here. Lowest cost, get the most post engagement for your budget, okay? So uh, how it works, let's click here. How it works, we'll get you the lowest cost results based on your optimization for ad delivery and bid more as needed to spend your budget. You can set a bid cap if you want to make sure we don't bid more than a certain amount for any result. Spending your budget efficiently, cost may rise as you spend, correct? Now maybe you can uh, use this particular thing uh, later on, but again, it's good to know everything. Right, standard delivery uh, type options. Okay, standard accelerated. Remember this part, this is from Bing, right? Right. Rick? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Spend your budget and get results as quickly as possible and spend your budget evenly. Uh, so uh, I think we missed the budget part at the top. How much are you spending? $5 per day or $10? Yeah. What would you like to go with? Let's go with the five. Let's go with five. Let's, see how let's go. Yeah. Okay. Select so put five here. Okay. Five. Five years to arms. Okay. Don't forget to remove, put that dot here, right? Otherwise, it would go to 500, right? <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Standard, all good. Now click continue, please. Okay. Always down here. It's kind of hiding right there. Continue. We found one error. Create it. Okay. Uh, we actually forgot to select the video part, but we'll get it <laughs> okay. Now yeah. uh, let's see here if we have that page in here. Oh, okay. Me. Why is so it not in there? Here. Let's <laughs> click this plus sign here. Let's see what happens. Okay, you see that you can pretty much pretty much create the whole page here from the ad section, correct? Uh, but uh, next time when you create a page, I would advise you to create a page by going to your business manager. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Now let's cancel this. Uh, okay, cool. Your business is representing ads by its Facebook page for an Instagram account. Okay.